Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm out in the front yard soaking up some rays. It's uh, in the 80s today, but the humidity is a little bit lower, so it's a much more tolerable, much nicer day. Uh, this morning, it actually was very humid, but uh, the temperature wasn't that high. So Sue and I went out this morning, first thing, around 7 o'clock, and rode at 10 miles on the bikes. We really had a good time doing that. And then later in the day, the humidity even got worse and it got warmer. But then it seemed like this afternoon, uh, it rained just a little bit and then the humidity is starting to drop. The weatherman said it was going to do that. It said by this evening the humidity would be low. And then uh, tonight and tomorrow is supposed to be quite cool. And I'm looking forward to that because I've had about all the warm weather I can take for this year. <laughs> now, uh, there's been some confusion on the website about uh, shipping. Uh, so I I really would like to have everybody go to my website and on the home page scroll down the left hand side and you'll see uh, a heading on shipping and returns click on that and it'll open up a page and it gives my uh, directions or my statement on shipping Uh, and I wish everybody would read that because that's been there for a couple of years now and that's my policy on uh, shipping. Uh, you got to realize, just for an example, and I know most people don't know that, say you're in, uh, I don't know, Australia or Denmark or Switzerland or whatever and you place an order with me. Okay, uh, the shipping is only five dollars. Now that five dollars goes to Beth. That pays her to put it all in the box, put the label on it. And now I shipped an order the other day to a foreign country and the shipping was forty dollars. That's not uncommon. Thirty-five, forty dollars is not uncommon for a, uh, for a box of uh, product going to a foreign country. Now let's look at this a minute. Where does that money come from? The forty dollars that goes to the shipping, where does that come from? Well, you're only paying me $5 shipping, and I give that to Beth. Uh, that doesn't even pay for the cardboard box I put the order in. The $40 or $50 or $36 or $1.45 or whatever comes right out of my bottom line, right out of my profit, right out of my wallet. So uh, because of that, I really can't afford to goof around too much uh, with reshipping things for people after they've been delivered. Uh, once UPS hits it with a scanner and hands it to you uh, and it emails me and says delivered uh, that's my commitment has been met I just want to make that clear with you I'm not going to goof around with reshipping stuff after it says it's been delivered uh, simple fact for that is uh, back when I first uh, started doing this uh, I would do that if somebody didn't get an order I'd just reship it I would it was early on in the game and and uh, the product wasn't that expensive anyway and I got a reputation for that so uh, what people started doing as would be expected uh, once they found that out they told their friends and what people would do is they'd place an order with me a uh, fairly substantial order and then once they received it uh, and had used it for a while they just email me and tell me that they didn't receive it and ask me to reship it uh, so they get the product twice and probably sell the second batch and give it to a friend and that became a regular habit I noticed that my uh, Although things were delivered uh, people were telling me that they never received that I saw that go way up and after reading some emails from some people that tipped me off that their friends are doing that I placed uh, this policy in place saying that once UPS says it's delivered it's out of my hands I'm sorry about that. I don't want to cause any hard feelings, but uh, that's how it works. Now, if you file a non-delivery complaint with uh, PayPal, which you can, uh, they will deduct the money from my account and put it in the, 
and put a hold on it. And then they'll ask me to prove that I actually shipped the order and delivered it. Well, you have to supply them with the date and the uh, shipping number. I'll just give that to them. They'll go in to USPS right there, right, right by your order. You just click on tracking and it'll say the day it was shipped and it'll say the day it was delivered and it'll tell you the address it was delivered and they'll put my money back in my account and that'll be the end of it. Uh, it's happened a few times. It's really a waste of your time and it's a waste of my time. Uh, now if you have something delivered and you're not home uh, and somebody steals it out of your mailbox or steals it off your front porch, I, I really don't see where that's my problem, where I should have to reship, uh, and I'm not going to. That's just the way it is. Uh, now, <laughs> not to be hard-hearted or anything, but another thing is uh, I've had emails from people who've had stuff for three years and told me that they uh, got it from a friend as a present and they just opened it now and it's not what they want and they want to send it back for cash refund. Uh, that's not going to happen. If you read the uh, return policy below the shipping policy, you'll see that uh, third parties are a no-go. It has to be an original buyer and only for uh, return it for product of the same thing or a product of, this, of a comparable value, a different piece of product for the same value. There is no uh, uh, cash refunds. That's, that's dead. Not going to happen anymore. So I just wanted to get those two things uh, straight with you uh, right up front. I'm not trying to be hard-hearted, but uh, that's the reason why I don't do that anymore. And I think if you look around, you'll find out that uh, REI or L.L. Bean, uh, nobody does that. Once it says it's delivered, uh, that's pretty much that. So, uh, I think I've only got four or five orders on the books today, and so those will go out Monday, hopefully. I noticed that people are starting to buy the uh, M100 now. They finally discovered that, and those are starting to go out the door because uh, it didn't start off very fast at all. I thought it would. Uh, so, I went back over to uh, Walmart today and uh, bought some more. I bought some uh, cargo shorts from Walmart. Uh, got all kinds of pockets in them. Very comfortable. They're cotton. They're not synthetic, but they're very loose fitting. Uh, come with a with a belt. Uh, real, they were like ten bucks. Uh, very comfortable. I bought four pair of those. Some of them light colored, some of them dark colored. I've got one that's uh, almost a black camo. I call it camo camo. <laughs> uh, and after that, we went to a place in town called a tool discount tool outlet. Haven't been there for a long time. I went there yesterday and bought some gas cans to put my ab gas in. Anyway, they had a huge display there, as big as a garage door, with probably at least a hundred different colors. Uh, 550 paracord, every color and pattern under the sun in 50 and 25 foot hanks and 1,000 foot rolls. And uh, <clears throat> Beth and I bought about five, six, about $25 worth, $20 worth of, uh, and some, they've got clips there and buckles and everything else. Fantastic place to buy uh, paracord. I've never seen such a good selection anywhere. Uh, the real ball, Beth is using it to uh, weave wristbands and stuff and goofing around, and I use some of it on my uh, tarp. I've discovered a really good way to pitch my tarp without using any hardware at all, just using a few very simple knots that are very easy to untie. And I'm real happy with that. I may show that in a later video. So, uh, I'm Tenny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. And more important than anything, try to have some fun today and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>